the commons required for this experiment are node mcu board dst11 sensor soil moisture sensor connecting cable and connecting wires Now log into the bling.cloud website and go to the templates page. Click on new template and enter the template name. Soil moisture and temperature monitor. This is the template name. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. And now click on done. Now go to data stream and create three data streams the first one for soil moisture and second one for temperature and the third one for humidity and we need to select the virtual pin here and enter the name of the variable and select the pin as v0 and data type as double and select the maximum value as 300 if you want we can change this color and click create now create the second data stream select virtual pin and enter the name as temperature and select the virtual pin as v1 and data type as double and select the maximum value as 100 and again click create now create the third one and here the name name as humidity and pin pin number as v2 and data type as double and here also select the maximum value as 100 if you want we can select the units also for humidity we can select percentage and click create for temperature we can select the unit as celsius now go to web dashboard and drag the gauge widgets we need to drag three gauge widgets and go to settings and here select the data stream as soil moisture change the color if you want and then click save now go to the settings of the second gauge and select the data stream as temperature and click save now go to the third one and here we need to select humidity and again click save now save the template now go to the search button and here we need to click new device and here select from template here we can see the template which we created soil moisture and temp temperature monitor and here we need to click create button now copy this template id template name and authentication token and paste in our program and then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and now select the board from tools board ESP8266 and select node MC 1.0 and then we need to select the port now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board now the program is uploaded successfully. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that we need to download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now open the Blink IoT application. Here we can see the template which we created in the web dashboard. So click on the template and here we need to add the gauge widgets. 
click on this plus button and add three gauge widgets. The first one is for soil moisture, second one for temperature and third one for humidity. Click on the first gauge and select the data stream. Here also we can see the same data stream which we created in the Blink web dashboard. So select soil moisture VO and click on design and give the title for the data stream. And go back, now click on the second one. Here again choose the data stream as temperature and go to design and give the title. Again go back and select the third one and here select the data stream as humidity V2 and go to design and enter the title. Now go back, now again go back. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output. This is the output from the Blink web dashboard. Now we can see the output. So I have placed dry soil and wet soil. So if we place the soil moisture sensor in the wet soil, we can see the value increases in the Blink application. So now the value is 136. If we remove so the value changed to 1 and if we keep the sensor in the dry soil you can see the value rise up to 86. So again I am placing in the wet soil you can see the value crosses 138.